We are actually going to Mexico. Mi nombre es Kevin, es un placer conocerles. We'd be willing to do a presentation for the government of Mexico. Tell them thermal drones, heavy lift drones, ag drones, how they could be deployed and used in the state of Mexico. Drones are changing the world. It's going to be so much fun. Hey, how's it going folks? Mike with Drone Deer Recovery and New Way Ag. Yeah, the title doesn't lie. I can't believe it. Because of Drone Deer Recovery, because of New Way Ag and the support that you guys have given us here with the content, we are actually going to Mexico. And I say we, it's going to be Kevin. If you guys don't know, Kevin is fluent in Spanish. He grew up in El Salvador. Sometimes I pinch myself and I'm like, I can't believe that this is all working out. But because of the content, somebody seen the content and then reached out to us and wanted to know if we'd be willing to do a presentation for the government of mexico and so we said sure why not so kevin and landon are going to be headed down there kevin's going to talk with them tell them all about the drones talk thermal drones heavy lift drones agricultural drones and so i'm really excited about this i'm excited for the video here we go check it out oh there he comes i already told them that it's crazy that you speak Spanish fluently. Yo hablo español. Yeah, whatever that was, yeah. amazing. Isn't it crazy? I was telling them, sometimes I pinch myself for the opportunities that have come. Now you're gonna go talk with the Mexican government. I, I get mean, to go talk to the Mexican government. They wanna know how to use some budget they have for surveillance, agriculture, and heavy lifts. Drones are changing the world. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah. I grew up in Latin America. That's awesome. To help introduce that technology. Like, and you love it down there. I do, yeah. 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 Like, just talking with the camera guy, we're gonna go eat tacos. Sweet. We're and the camera guy's gonna be landing. Street tacos, man. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. What could be better? Yeah. Right? It's like. Tell them something in Spanish if they're watching. Mi nombre es Kevin. Es un placer conocerles. Fue ah. Pueden muy pronto pongan un comentario abajo si quieren poner los videos en español con Mike hablando en español. Pongan comentario abajo, yo los voy a ver y vamos a poner videos en español. Cool. All right. Well, you guys will uh, probably hop into Landon's camera and then who knows what the video is about, but it's going to be interesting. The thing is, people are buying drones because yes. it's 2024 and yep. drones are changing the way that we do things. And going on this trip, as well as all the like inventory and logistics that we try to do in the back end, it's all because we get to be a part of such an amazing industry that's just blowing up. Well, we just landed in Fort Lauderdale. We're gonna get a hotel overnight nearby. And then tomorrow morning, first flight out, Miami, Mexico City, Mexico City, to the presidential building, and uh, man, I get to go talk to Senate about drones. That's what's up. So I'm standing in Mexico City. Behind me is the government state building. One of the buildings that we're gonna go in, I'm gonna have an opportunity to present. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the state of drones in 2024 and the biggest opportunities for a state like Mexico or a government like Mexico to really capitalize on new technology. Mexico is updating uh, their technology, their drones, they're investing in some of the infrastructure and the technology to support their country. Um, and I get to go in there and tell them thermal drones, heavy lift drones, ag drones, how they could be deployed and used in the state of Mexico or in the country of Mexico. So I'm not sure if I should feel excited or nervous right now. I've never presented to a state heads like this before, but I, I mean, they're just people. And, and the cool thing is, you know, if it's really just about the drones, right? It's like, I know drones inside and out. I love drones. So if I can just talk about drones, it should be fine. This is where it's like, I hope that my PowerPoint opens up I hope that it doesn't you know, glitch out because really honestly, you can't explain drones without showing drones. You have to have the videos and the photos. It doesn't work. You can't do a presentation without it because people don't get it. So I put a lot of work into that. I hope it works. We'll see you in there.
We're sitting in the, uh, I believe this is the building of the Secretary of Economy. I guess a, build, a government building, economic development. From outside, this building looks absolutely magnificent. There's Mexican style architecture. Looks like Mexico. It's really cool. Traigo una presentación con varios videos y lo que estamos viendo con todo esto de drones es difícil realmente entender si no uno lo ve. Entonces eh, es importante la, la presentación. Podemos comenzar, sino que también ofrecemos venta y entrenamiento de drones. Hacemos mu muchos videos. Eh. En el año 2007 el iPhone cambió el, el mundo y hoy en el 2024 es difícil pensar de cómo era antes sin, sin que todos teníamos celulares. Y, y la verdad es que hoy lo mismo está pasando con, con drones. La mayoría de gente cuando piensa en drones, piensa en un juguete, piensa en algo así. Eh, quizás que tiene cámara, que tiene un, un asunto así. Pero la, la realidad es que hoy en este año, drones son herramientas que pueden eh, resolver problemas grandes. Si está lloviendo, si, está, si hay nieve, eh, vientos hasta 50 millas o digamos 80 kilómetros. Hay algunos drones eh, más económicos, pero cuando viene un, un, una tormenta o algo así, no pueden volar. Con este, aunque sea noche, no importa el clima, eh, pueden volar. So there was not just one, there was three presentations in the room. I, did, I was not aware of that. I feel like having the videos, having the photos, being able to actually explain what you're saying makes all the difference. And I, I really felt like all the key people in there got it. They got what drones can do. They got how they could be used. You don't have to sell it. You just have to see it. I think we're already have some post meetings set up, maybe tonight before we leave in the morning. I think there's real interest in doing a, a start, you know, testing it out, doing a smaller study. And then I think this is a, a lot of opportunity going forward, so. I'm excited.